and welcome to today's makeup deep dive with Dom. My name is Dominique and I love all things makeup so today I'm going to be showing you how you can choose your perfect foundation. This is makeup boot camp today because I'm going to be walking you through different skin types, different foundation finishes, and different foundation coverages and I'm going to be showing you it all so that you can choose the perfect foundation for you. There's a lot you need to know when it comes to foundation so get ready, buckle up, and let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is skin type. Knowing your skin type is the first thing that you need to do. So there are three skin types. Dry, oily, and combination. Dry is what I have. Dry skin means you might see some dryness or dry patches or flakiness over your skin. Of course, dry, dry skin is pretty self-explanatory. I've got really, really dry skin. So the next skin type is oily, and this is also pretty self-explanatory. I mean, if you're oily, I'm sure that you know by now that you have oily skin. Typically, oily skin, it's like a glow or a shine on your face, typically in the T-zone, which is like your nose and your forehead, and wearing foundation throughout the day can definitely enhance your oils. So when you have oily skin, you don't want to put something that's super glowy on. And plus, oils on your skin and oils in your foundation can mix together and then cause separation. And that's the last thing you want to do because you don't want your makeup slipping off throughout the day. And last but not least is combination. If you feel like you just got like skin and you're like, my skin is fine, like I don't have any dry flakes or I don't really get too oily, then that means that you have combo skin. You're the luckiest person because you can wear any type of foundation and it's gonna look good. But combo people can lean a little bit more towards the dry side or a little bit more towards the oily side and that's what I would lean into when picking a foundation. But if you've got dry skin and you want to wear a matte foundation, you can wear skin prep and that helps. And if you're oily and you want to wear a glowy foundation, that's fine too. Just bring some powder or some blotting sheets and you're good to go. So the first thing you gotta do is identify your skin type. So for me, I am dry, which means I will go for a dewy foundation or a glowy foundation. What the heck does dewy and glowy mean? So on this half of my face, I applied some dewy slash glowy foundation, and then on this side, I applied some matte foundation. You can really see the difference here, and I'm going to zoom you in so you can see as best as possible. So here is the dew side. Dewy means you have a subtle glow from within. It's going to look luminous, it's going to look a little bit shiny, but in the best way possible. Matte means that there's really no shine. This type of matte leans more into the natural finish. And then you have your natural foundations. What the heck does natural mean? It means it's a combination of a matte finish and a dewy finish, and they mix together. So it's kind of like there's it's not really matte and it's not really glowy. It's just kind of like there. So this is the dewy foundation. You can see some glow right here, matte side versus glow side. I'm going to try my best to make this as simple as possible for you to understand the difference between foundations and coverage and finishes and I'm going to be trying on the different coverages so you can see them and I have my handy dandy makeup wipes to help me do that. We're gonna go from lightest coverage to fullest coverage so starting off with the lightest coverage we have a tinted moisturizer. Now my selection of tinted moisturizers are very limited because I do not have many as I don't really wear light coverage foundations very much because I am a medium coverage to full coverage type of gal, okay? So the tinted moisturizer that I have and that I absolutely love is this Rare Beauty. It's called Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF in it, which is why people love these. So let me show you what a tinted moisturizer looks like. It is going to be super light coverage. Basically, it's just going to cover up any redness that you have or like discoloration. Tinted moisturizers are great because anyone can wear them depending on your skin type. So this is the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer all on. So let me show you exactly what I mean by a tinted moisturizer. What we're going to do throughout this video is we're going to pay attention to my little freckle right there and how much that we see her. You can see it. She's there. She's out. She is saying, hey, what's up to everyone? And you can even see this one right here. You can see I have some freckles on my nose. I don't have a lot, but you can still see them a little bit through this tinted moisturizer, okay? So that's how you know that a tinted moisturizer is very light coverage. Now, have you ever opened a new pack of makeup wipes and the top one is always dry? 
high. Like the top one always is the worst. And then you get to like the ones at the bottom and those are the most wet and they are just amazing. The next type of foundation coverage that we have after the tinted moisturizer is going to be the light coverage foundation. And that is just a bit heavier than a tinted moisturizer. So I should just see this beauty mark through a light coverage foundation. It's going to cover up any redness and discoloration and any small imperfections that you want covered. So we have this one by MAC. This is the MAC Water Weight Foundation. This is a foundation, but it also has SPF in it. So this has SPF 30. So what's the difference? Because it has SPF, does it make it a tinted moisturizer? No. Tinted moisturizer and light coverage foundations are essentially the same thing, except this just has a little bit more of a coverage. This is super thin. So as I'm applying this, I can see my freckles still through it, like this beauty mark right here. Let me zoom you in and take a look at this. You can still see my freckle right there. On my nose, you can still slightly see my freckles coming through. And then on this side, you can still see this freckle as well because it is a light coverage foundation. Now when I put this on I'm not using a lot because you can build these foundations up to probably more of like a medium coverage. So if you really want to see the foundation's true effect put it on lightly. This next category of foundations is my all-time favorite category. I eat, breathe, and die for a medium coverage foundation. House Labs foundation. I could literally write a book about how much I love it. So I'm gonna apply this to my face and we're we're going to show you what a medium coverage looks like. Medium coverage is going to cover up your freckles for sure. It's going to make your skin look amazing. Once you apply it, it's going to cover up any redness. You're not going to see much of your skin through the foundation. So that's why I like it because it's not too heavy, but it's definitely not too thin either. So this is what a medium coverage foundation looks like. It looks absolutely beautiful. You can kind of still see this freckle through it. My nose freckles are gone. They are covered up. And then this freckle over here is a little less noticeable than before. Medium coverage foundation is just simply superior. Not too heavy, not too thin, beautiful. Moving on to the full coverage category. And of course, we're going in with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation because it's beautiful. And I need to look beautiful today because I look like an egg right now. A literal egg. And I want you to see and I want you to look at how full coverage this is. At the end, you're not going to be able to see any of my freckles. I'll tell you that right now. But just because it's full coverage does not mean that you're going to look crazy or you're going to look cakey. It's all about how you apply it. When you are working with a full coverage foundation, you want to use as little as possible because even if you use a little bit, the full coverageness should still be there. Okay, so here is full coverage foundation applied. And as you can see, it looks like I have some foundation on, but not in a bad way. It looks good. So let's take a look at the skin up close. You can see here how this freckle is a lot less noticeable because of this foundation. Even far back, you can't see the freckle at all, at all. Oh my god, I look crazy like this. You cannot see anything on my nose. And then this little baby right here is definitely a lot less noticeable than before. So in a nutshell, that's all you need to know when it comes to choosing your perfect foundation. I know there's a ton that goes into it and there's a lot to think about, but really think about this information and think about what look that you want and then go from there. So if you want like a full glam look, then go for like a medium to full coverage foundation. If you want something more on the natural side, definitely choose a tinted moisturizer or a light coverage foundation. You have so many options options for so many different looks. So I hope this helped you understand how to choose your perfect foundation. Once you find that perfect foundation, I'm telling you, your life is going to change. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it and sitting down and doing makeup with you today. I cannot wait for the next video. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button before you go, leave a like and a comment, and I will see you on the next video.